Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, thought I'd make another video about my new custom aquarium up here. And if you watched the last video, you'll remember I was debating whether or not to leave it as a hardscape, kind of like that there, or to go for some plants and have a planted aquarium. Um, and I settled somewhere in between the two. So I don't know if you'll have seen this video yet or it will come out after this one, but I did another aquarium for my kids' school um, and had to. I wanted that one to be a planted one, so I, I bit the bullet and I just ordered more of everything. Um, so today's video will be about turning this aquarium into this. This is my 5x2x2 by two by two glass aquarium with steel stand um, and sump underneath which is 4 foot. Um, as you might remember from last videos, it's just hardscaped at the moment. I've added some fish, so there's a, a trio of bristlenose plecos, albino ones, or albino, and a bunch of guppies which are in there essentially just to keep some of the filter media down there keep it going, keep it ticking over um, but I'm awaiting a discus shipment which should come in the next couple of days um, as you can see still waiting on the panels to come um, hope they should be here this week but then again I've been told that for the last few weeks but essentially, we're going to start with planting in here. I've already had a go with some of these little ones. These are little dwarf chain swords, which came from... I just bought them on a whim off eBay. And they are pretty poor condition when they arrived, so I don't expect many of them will last very long. So I had to get them straight away. But I've got plans. Mainly nice, easy things to keep. So java fern, java moss, you know, some crypt. Amazon swords, that sort of thing, just to give a bit of greenery. Um, so, yes, I'll be planting them in and around these rock structures and the, the wood. If you're coming here for planting advice, this is possibly not the best video for you. I, my view on plants is there's kind of two types, ones that go in the soil or the substrate and ones that feed off the water column. Uh, I've got a mixture of both. I have never really been heavily into plants, so these are all quite easy to care for plants. But yeah, we never know, we might get there in the end. I have got some CO2, which I'm not running yet, but I could do if I wanted to. Um, yeah, so I think it's about time we got on with it, so let's go and choose the plants. So down in the fish room, I'm just collecting the plants. I might as well show you around, even though the place is an absolute bomb site. Um, so, in here, there's still some fish going through quarantine. These are the neon liar tail guppies, which are a little bit special. So, hopefully, I can get something from these guys. They only have males, I think they only, they only get males, but they will breed with my other females, hopefully. Uh, in here is just some Java fern and. and Echindorus. Uh, the next tank is the Sterby Corridoras. They're still happily breeding away, or laying eggs anyway, but I've not actually seen any fry yet. You might be able to see some eggs up there. So they are around. But various plants in here. So I'm going to snaffle these up, take them upstairs and start planting some of them. Uh, we've been in here a few days now, seen a little bit of brown leaves on some of them, but in general they're pretty good. Got vowels, crypts, um, rotunda, all sorts in there. So 
but I'll grab these and take you upstairs, but we'll go through everything else while we're here. Some nice Crevenza showing off some nice colours. Little Bristle Moseys chowing down on some Rapashi. All these for sale, obviously, if you're in Sheffield or the surrounding areas and need some fish. I think I've, I've been trying to identify how many pairs I've got in there or trios. I think I've got three separate breeding groups. Um, yeah, they're doing well. Guppy tanks, after I've taken away all the ones I've taken up to the school tank, which I'm not sure if you'll have seen that video before this or after. But yes, the guppy population has taken a hit after I've moved most of them up to the school tank, along with the cherry shrimp. But still plenty in here and they will recover soon enough. And here's the neon tetras. No, they're not neon tetras, the cardinal tetras. No more deaths. Well, I've not noticed any deaths actually. I think we lost one. But out of a hundred nod, that's pretty good. They're just about ready to go in now. Uh, let me show off my bad housekeeping there. A bit of tanks. Uh, you can see anything in that one. This is the shy black bitter. This guy's not shy. Love that face. <laughs> uh, these are some of the guppies that I'm trying to breed. Oh. Not line breed as well, I suppose it is line breeding as such. But I tried to select out some of the shapes and colours that I liked. I'm not necessarily trying to breed them yet, I'm just trying to put them into groups. Again, over here. Just some of the ones I want to start breeding, nice dirty tanks, another bit of fish, just put an auto in there, and you might be able to see them there, just to see how good they are at cleaning algae, arsehole tank up here, oh, hello, and he normally runs away. A bash on his head. So this is my basket of plants. Um, I've just taken everything up that's not been used for the school tank. It's not to say that I'll use all of it, um, but yeah, oh, probably will. There's not that much there. So there's a few mixtures there: big plant to little plants. Um, so nice sword there. Um, that's sort of the same family as a sword. I've got Anubius, which is really nice. Good healthy leaves there. I've got a broad leaf and a narrow leaf version. Some Java fern, some moss, as you've seen before. And um, so I'll just work my way through that, putting it in there. So the, what I'm planning to do is obviously the ones that need to be planted. Well, we planted in the sand, it is just sand, there's no planting substrate underneath it, I did consider it, but in the end, didn't want it. So I'm going to be using these root tabs. So I'll just pop in a couple of them throughout the areas where I'll be planting the stuff in the sand. So, when I come back, this should all be done. Oh, one final thing. Um, I see a lot of people talking about tying on plants, so the likes of your Anubius, so I like to say, no plant expert, but the likes of the Anubius, that main stocky bit there, the rhizome, that needs to be above uh, the sand, so you'll either tie that onto a piece of wood or super glue it on. Um, I quite like super glue for the Java fern and for Anubius and for moss and things like that, but you have to be careful where you're positioning it. So if because if you can see it, it basically it turns white as soon as you put it in the tank. So if you put it on the back of the wood and attach it there, 
working all right. Otherwise, a tight one. So I'll probably do a mixture of the two. Yeah, but let's see how I get on. Everything except for the moss. Um, I also have another 50 or so Java fern plants that I've not used, and I'm not even convinced I'll keep the ones that I have used. So I'll go ahead and show you what I've done a little bit better. So, I started on the left hand side with some vowels, so they should grow in a bit, as well as a rotunda that will get bigger and bigger. Um, Essentially, these shoot off runners, so I've planted them there, there, and there. But I expect, well, I was going to say I expect that they'll carpet the whole the back of the aquarium in time. But what they generally do is go and shoot runners off where you don't want them, so they'll shoot runners down here, or out here, or down here. But you can move them around and get them where you want them. Um, so we've got the narrow leaf crypt here, sorry I can't remember the actual proper names of them. Just kind of wedged in that bit of wood there. Uh, falling through more valves. Um, again just a bit of java fern wedged in there, I'm not sure I'll leave that there, I might move that out afterwards. Another big crypt 
super glued to a bit of wood and you can see there what I was talking about with the white because um, as soon as it gets wet it sets and then goes white um, more plants in around the big Echindorus, Echindorius not, how, not really sure how you say that that's in the back corner behind the overflows which you can still be gurgling away you still can't find a freaking way to shut them up um, anyway, I digress yeah, so these are all java ferns here in front of that big plant so you can't really see it I'm not sure I want the java ferns at all but from a distance looks pretty good well, I think so so, we'll leave it at that I may keep messing about with it a bit longer Um but for now, I'm oh, quite happy with that. You saw them, yeah, well, you might have seen me putting in root tabs wherever the rooted plants were. Got a few more to put in of them. Um, and I've got some fertilizer and liquid carbon that I'll put in just now. I've not set up my CO2 yet. If I do that, I'll go down in the sump. But yeah, I'm happy enough with that for now. These overflows, though. God. I'm not entirely happy about them. You may see, actually, the output here has turned way, way down. And I've had everything in between way, way down and way, way up. And um, that's where a ton pump there. Now that one's actually a 5,000 litre per hour uh, pump. But I tried that one, I tried one with half that power. I then tried adding in a T here on the return with a gate valve so as I can send some of it straight back into the sump rather than into the um, main tank. Thinking it's got to be a flow rate issue, but I've had everything, you saw that there, that was barely a trickle. And the majority of it's gone straight back into the sump. And I've had it on full whack. There's just nothing I can do. Well, there seems to be nothing I can do to go to that gargling. And if the man who made this tank for me doesn't come and show me how to fix it, I don't even care if I look like an idiot. I'll be very unhappy. I can't get rid of that noise. I've got the sump noise. Pretty good, I think. Pump's almost silent. The tons are almost silent. Anyway, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it on a positive. Fish are coming in a couple of days. Um, put in a massive discus order. Well, massive for me anyway. Um, spent all the rest of my birthday money. So they'll go in there. I'm going to put them straight in. This will be their quarantine tank. And then finally, it'll give us a good look as to what it will ultimately look like. But anyway, anyone can think of a, anything I can do. In fact, let's move those lights so you can see what the lights will actually look like. These are the Aquarian Eco uh, full spectrum. I've not actually got a power meter or a lux meter or anything like that. But yes, that's what it will look like eventually. It needs to do a bit of clearing. I've kicked up quite a bit of dust from the sand. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. We'll leave it there, and I'll catch you next time where hopefully it will be this full of fish. Bye-bye.